When I wrote The Art of the Deal back in around 1987 or 1988, it became the number one bestseller for many, many weeks of that year. It was a big monster book. And to this day, it's one of the biggest selling business books of all time, if not the biggest. And a lot of people ask me when I wrote that book, did I have any idea that someday I might be running for president? And the answer is absolutely not. The country was strong. The country was a much greater place than it is today. It didn't have the problems that we have today. It was respected more than anything else. It was respected by the world. We're not respected today. So I certainly never even thought in terms of running for president. I'm thinking about it now for the opposite reason. We're not respected. We're going down. China's taking things over. They're taking our jobs. They're taking our money. And after they take our money, they loan it back to us and we pay interest. They're manipulating their currency, which makes it very, very tough for us to frankly compete in terms of our companies competing against them and their companies. And if you look at what's happening with OPEC, and I made this prediction a year ago, your gasoline is going to six, seven, and eight dollars a gallon. And they're going to be a lot of very unhappy United States citizens. So I never thought when I did the art of the deal that I'd be running for political office, let alone president. And now I'm thinking about it very seriously because this country has never been so low. We've never been at a low point like we are now.